So hello everyone, my name is Mark and welcome to a new team review video on my channel. In this video I'm going to show you the best way to play with Paris Saint-Germain in FIFA 20 in my opinion. Of course, I'm going to show you the formation, the lineup, the tactics and the instructions. But first of all I want to thank you very much for watching of course, drop a like under the video if you think this is useful for you. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. I want to reach that 10k subscribers as fast as possible of course, so help me to reach that goal. And if you have to say something or want to ask me something, drop it in the comment sections below. Uh, I made a Paris Saint-Germain video before, uh, but this is a new one. Uh, my opinion in the game changes a bit. Uh, updates are part of that uh, uh, for my for my feeling. Uh, but uh, I tried a few matches with Paris Saint-Germain. This is. Uh, the most of the best way for me to play with them i also have a video uh, with a full match of gameplay with this formation if you want to watch that i'm going to upload that in a few days uh, i guess so uh, stay tuned to my channel if you want to see that um, let's start with the formation it's a 4-3-3 attacking formation Navas is the goalkeeper Meunier the right defender Marquinhos, Silva, centre-backs, Bernard is the left defender. Uh, then we have Gouillet and Verratti as central midfielders. Uh, Neymar is the attacking midfielder. Mbappe, the right winger. Di Maria is the left winger. And Cavani is the striker. Um, Cavani and Icardi, you may uh, think, why don't you choose Icardi? He is 87 rated, so one rating higher than Cavani. But look at the stats here at the right of the screen. Uh, pace the same, all other stats, Cavani is better. Why does Icardi has a higher rating? I don't know, maybe you can tell me, but uh, well, that's FIFA logic, I think. Uh, but for me, Cavani is better because he's also taller and well, the stats says enough, I think. Uh, let's go to the tactics, drop back with a width of 4 bars, depth of 6 bars, offensive style balanced with a width of 7 bars, players in the box 5 bars, corners, free kicks both 3 bars. Then we're going to the instructions, Meunier stay back while attacking, Marquinhos default, Silva default, Bernat stay back while attacking, Gouillet stay back while attacking, stay on the edge of the box for the cross, cover center, Verratti. Uh, only thing I changed is cover center, then Neymar uh, get it to the box for the cross and free roam. Then we have Mbappe stay wide, get it behind, get it to the box for the cross. Di Maria the same, stay wide, get it behind, get it to the box for the cross. And then we have Cavani, he is just default at all. So let's see the subs, we have Icardi, really good striker of course, uh, well uh, when he was at Inter he was one of my favorite strikers, uh, but uh, in this part of FIFA, in this time of FIFA, uh, he wasn't that great for me as before, so that's why he's on the bench, but sometimes I uh, sub him for Cavani and he's a pretty good striker, no, no doubt about that. Uh, then we have Sarabia, good midfielder, you can uh, replace Neymar when he gets tired or when you want to uh, replace Di Maria or Cavani. Neymar as a striker or as a left winger you can put Sarabia as the attacking midfielder. The same for Draxler of course. Draxler, Draxler, I don't know how to call him. But uh, he can play as a cam, he can play as a CM. Pretty good player, good pass, good shooting. Uh, so wonderful to have on the bench. Herrera, more like a box-to-box -box player for me. Uh, you can replace him uh, by Verratti uh, when he gets tired. That's the only thing I would uh, recommend for him. Uh, we have Parades, never never used him because he already have Sarabia, Herrera and Draxler. Kimbembe, really good uh, center back of course with uh, much, uh, a lot of pace, 75 is pretty good for a center back. Um, I tried him as a left defender but he doesn't uh, he didn't feel good at that position for me at, in this formation. Um, Bernard has more pace, of course. That's really important in this FIFA, uh, especially for left and right defenders, because you're always playing against the wingers who are really fast. So you need all the pace uh, there is in your team. So Rico is the sub uh, goalkeeper, but 
I never changed uh, goalkeepers in match. I don't think you will do that, but he is there. When Navas get injured, I never had a, a goalkeeper get injured during a match, but uh, you never know. You never know. Uh, well, that's it for the Paris Saint Germain video. Uh, I hope you liked it. Drop a like under the video if you didn't do that yet. Make sure you will subscribe to my channel so you don't miss new videos I'm posting. And if you want to see some gameplay from this formation, it was a really crazy match. Uh, that's why I want to upload the full match because it was a really crazy match. Uh, at the beginning, I was uh, starting with this formation, but with other tactics. Halfway, I changed it to this, and you can see in that match why I did that. So if you want to see that, stay tuned. I'm going to upload that in a few days, I guess. So thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Bye bye.